In today's video, I have a 1,000 carb refeed day. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com. In today's video, I'm going to discuss the process of having a thousand grams of carbs in a single day, why I did it, and uh, give you the reasons and the results. I've spent the bulk of this year, since January, dieting down from around 225 pounds, and I got down to a low of 195. So 30 pounds is a pretty significant amount of weight. Now, this wasn't just for the purpose of getting lean and looking good. I actually ended up competing in a couple uh, bodybuilding competitions. And so I got what I would consider very, very lean. And in years past, when I would diet down for competitions, almost immediately I would put, start putting weight back on and lose the opportunity to kind of experiment with my body. So first question, why did I do a 1,000 gram refeed day, 1,000 grams of carbs? Well, it just sounds like a cool number. And I was doing refeed days of 500, 550 during prep and finding that those were very good for me, but also finding that I would often not feel like I had fully filled out. So I just came up with the idea while I was dieting down that, you know what, when prep's over, I'm gonna do a thousand carb refeed. I don't like cheat days. I don't like binge eating. I don't wanna do a 10,000 calorie challenge. I thought, I wanna do something that I wanted to do. It was just for me. There was no real purpose behind it other than the number sounded cool and I would just like to see what happened because it's it's just something that I'm interested in the body at this point when it's this lean, the, the changes are kind of fun. So let's get into the mechanics of how I handled this. Now, my low weight during prep was probably 196, 195, you know, a few days out from the show as I was um, walking my carbs up. So I actually got on the scale the day of the thousand carb refeed day and I hadn't restricted, I hadn't, I hadn't pulled a bunch of water or glycogen out of my body. I just went into that normal. Um, and I, I was one, I think it was 199.8. I think that's on the video. I'll show it here when I got on the scale. So that was my baseline. I also did some like flexing in the mirror because I want to compare over, um, over the next couple days and just see what happens. And the refeed was on Wednesday and this is Friday, right? So Wednesday morning, 199. 0.8 or something, maybe 0.6. And so off we go with a thousand grams of carbs. And I'll be honest, I already knew it was gonna be tough because I'm not typically a person who has a huge appetite. You know, the 10,000 calorie challenge that's gotten so popular, I'm not sure I could complete that. Um, I guess I probably could, but I would just be uncomfortable. Um, so what I did initially here was I really wanted to make sure I kept my protein and fats kind of low on the day. It ended up being a little tough to keep that, that fat number lower because the, the, the carb sources, but I did keep my protein lower. I think it ended up being only around 160, 170 grams for the day. I'll put all the numbers here on the screen. Um, so I kept my breakfast kind of small and then I started piling in the carbs, having some pop tarts and multiple types of cereals. Now I really like the kids cereals because they are so low in fat. So you can really get in a bunch of carbs. They taste sweet. And um, after breakfast, I felt rather stuffed. So I actually took like a 20 minute walk around my neighborhood just to kind of get things digesting. I didn't like the feeling of feeling that full. Um, and I actually got a little worried, like, man, am I gonna be hungry? Well, about three hours later, I was starving, okay? So the food was actually digesting and processing very, very well. And I'll, I'll put up some images here of the food that I ate throughout the day. I'm not a food vlogger. I don't really, I, I thought about showing you guys myself eating this stuff, but it just seemed weird. That's not my style, so, um, you know. I ate all the food that I'm listing here for you guys and I'll show some of it in these clips, but as the day went on, um, what I found was my physique looked a little fuller, but it definitely got a little softer. And I had two really good meals before I went to the gym. I actually went to the gym with 590 grams of carbs before I got there. Um, that was kind of my goal so I could go into the gym and have a great day and it was a chest day so I ended up doing chest and shoulders and about 20 minutes of cardio and so while I was in prep I was doing an hour of cardio every day like walking on the treadmill um, so what I've done since that is pulled that back to half so I'm doing 30 minutes a day so I did a 20 minute 
pre-workout cardio session and a 10 minute post-workout cardio session. So just keeping steady with that. And what I really found was my fats started adding up because I was having Pop-Tarts, which aren't high in fat, you know, two Pop-Tarts are around 75 carb, 10 fat. But you do that a couple times, you get 10, 20, 30, 40 grams of fat, it starts to add up, right? So what I had to do was go with my son and I got some candy. I got these like candy watermelons. I think there was like around 130, 140 carbs for this bag um, and no fat. And same thing with like these gummy frogs. I had a whole bag that are basically just sugar. So that type of foods was what was allowing me to get to the total. And it actually worked out that my last food for the day was a halo top. Um, and it put me at 1,010 carbs for the day. Halo Top has like 12 grams of fat, so that kind of threw my fats over 100 for the day. But you know, the real reason I did this was not just to keep fats low or protein low, I just wanted to make sure I got the food in comfortably. And so I woke up the next morning, and um, as expected, I'll show you some video here, I was a little bit up on the scale, I think I was up three or four pounds, so two or three in that range, and um, I didn't really like the way I looked. I wasn't happy, if, it, if that would have been like a pre-contest day, I would not have been happy. I, I kind of like, I definitely had some wateriness like film over my abs. So the day after the thousand carbs, I woke up a little bit watery, didn't feel great. That was Thursday. Now when I woke up on Thursday, I thought, let's go to the gym. I had an arm day scheduled. I did the same thing. I did my 20 minutes pre-workout. I did an arm day and I did a full out arm assault and I'll show you some video of me posing and flexing here after the workout in the in the in the locker room um, and yes the pump was insane I felt fantastic in the gym I was getting reps and weights that I had not gotten in a long time and I finally started to feel like my physique was getting harder by Thursday night today when I woke up the scale was back down just over 200 pounds and lots of detail back in the core lots of lines and separation in my physique so I feel like I'm getting harder the, the longer I have been away from these uh, thousand gram of carbs, right? So uh, yesterday I ended up doing about 400 grams. Today I'll probably do three to 400 grams. Today's not a training day for me. So, um, but I, I, I feel good now. So I think the thousand grams of carbs, if we look at the two forms of, you know, as carbohydrates are processed, the glucose and the glycogen, I think it takes a little bit of time for your body to actually be able to consume, digest, process that, get it to the muscles for storage and then be used. So I think in the coming day, maybe tomorrow, I'll probably have my best look and be able to use this as ammunition. I'm doing a photo shoot in Miami next Saturday. It was offered to me for free and I was already in shape and it gave me a reason to stay in shape and you know continue processing my reverse diet properly. So what I'm gonna probably do is not a thousand grams of carbs, but maybe on like Wednesday or Thursday, depending on how the next couple days go, I may do six, 700 grams of carbs and then you know follow that up with a four or 500 day and kind of allow myself to fill out and then tighten back up for the shoot. We'll see, we'll see what day I feel best. Um, but yeah, that's all I did it for. I did it for fun. I wanted to eat a thousand grams of carbs. Will I do it again? Probably not. I I'm not someone that just likes to eat and be gluttonous. I like the feeling of eating, feeling good, and being, being hungry and then eating again in a few hours. I, I was uncomfortable after every single meal. After every single meal of 150, 200 grams of carbs and then having snacks in between, um, I was finding that I just wasn't craving anything. So I was actually like, okay, how am I gonna get this done? Um, until the very end of the day and at bedtime, I did find that um, I was pretty hungry and going to sleep was no problem. Slept like a baby that night. So yeah, that's it. That's my thousand carb refeed story. If you guys have any questions or comments or would like more on this topic, let me know. Um, while I'm lean, I'm gonna continue experimenting. I'm gonna continue doing some things. So if you have any ideas for things you guys would like to see, let me know and I'll talk to you tomorrow.